thanks so much for coming in, tuning in to say what's up. Uh, it's me, Spider-Man, and uh, I'm coming to you live from Avengers Tower right now. Uh, I, like you, have been quarantined here, and uh, there's uh, not a lot we got to do. I don't know about you guys, but I've been, uh, I've been getting pretty bored. Um, I've got Tony. I don't know if you guys know Tony Stark, a.k.a. Iron Man. He's been my homeschool teacher lately, and, uh, you know, he was, uh, he was pretty cool for the first week, but, uh, God, he's really strict, and right now I just wanna, I just wanna swing around and get some sunshine, but, as you know, we can't really do that right now, and, uh, I'm assuming you guys back home are kinda feeling some of the same things, feeling a little stir-crazy, I don't know if any of you guys are sick of homeschool yet, but, you know, I just want to go out and fight crime, and Tony says I can't do that yet, so I'm really glad to get this time with you guys to, first I'm going to tell you my origin story, how I became Spider-Man, and then we're going to do a little superhero training where I can teach you guys how to become web warriors with me. But uh, in the meantime, I, I can't hear what you guys are saying, but you guys can communicate with me via the comment on this, uh, on, this, on this live post. So any questions you have for me throughout, you can go ahead and type it in, and uh, my uh, associate over here, he'll tell me what it is, and then I'll be able to answer that. And then at the end of, uh, of our training, you want to you wanna ask me anything, I'll answer any questions that you guys have, okay? So uh, again, I'm so glad you guys are here. I'm so excited to get started with this. You guys are ready? Uh, I'd like to sit down and tell you how I became Spider-Man, okay? All right, cool. Well, follow me right over here. Oh, so it's a uh, it's a it's a pretty pretty crazy tale how I became Spider-Man, but uh, I can't wait to share it with you guys. So I, like you, uh, am not that different from from everyone else. Uh, I'm just a normal kid, and. Uh, some of you probably may know my name, and I'm going to tell you now, just make sure you don't tell anyone, because if any of the villains found out, I, uh, they, could, they could take advantage of me in some, in some ways that, that would be pretty bad. So, uh, I'm, my name is Peter Parker, and when I'm not Spider-Man, I'm a lot like you guys. I go to school, uh, you know, I got crushes on girls, I get bullied sometimes, and, uh, you know, it's, it's not an easy life, but it's what we do. And, uh... My favorite thing to do uh, is hang out with my Aunt May and my Uncle Ben. Now, my, my parents aren't around anymore, so they, they're kind of who raised me and who taught me what's right and wrong, and I live with them, and they're, they're really great. My favorite thing in school is science. I don't know about any of you guys, if, if you like school, and I know now we're all doing school at home, but back when you were going to school, if any of you guys have any uh, favorite subjects, go ahead and type in the comments. I'd love to hear it. Me, I love science. I love making things, figuring out how things work. And I just, I don't know, some people call me a nerd for it, but man, I love science so much. And, uh, you know, when I'm not doing science, I'm running around uh, doing other things, like more science experiments. I, I'm sorry, I just love science so much. Maybe you guys can understand. And uh, which leads me to the next part of this when uh, this, how I became Spider-Man, right? So we had this field trip. We, uh, we went to this museum, um, this kind of science exposition, and they were, they were doing a lot of experiments with gamma rays. You can see this, it's this, this green stuff here. And uh, it was so cool. They were explaining how it works and everything. And I, uh, I, I got so kind of wrapped up in it that I didn't see this little guy, a spider. Spider starts coming down through the rafters, and I guess he must have taken in some of the gamma rays or something because he's, he became not a normal spider. And I, again, was so enraptured in this presentation that I didn't notice when he landed on my hand. What I did notice was when he bit me. Ow! I don't, I don't know if any of you guys are bit by a spider, but it's not fun. And this one, I've been bitten by a spider before, but this one, for whatever reason, hurt a lot more than usual. So, uh, I, I tried to push through the rest of the day, but I don't know if you guys have ever, you know, felt sick. Maybe your stomach starts to hurt, and you feel like you need to go home, and so maybe you go to the nurse's office and say, Hey, I'm, I'm not feeling so good, I gotta go. And so that's what I did. Uh, I went to the nurse's office and said, Hey, I, I need to go home. I'm, I'm feeling really weird. My head is swimming, my stomach's all in knots, I didn't know what to do. So, so they say, yeah, you go home, go, go see your aunt and your uncle. And I'm walking home, and I'm feeling so weird. 
and out of nowhere, I kind of feel this, this tingling sensation. I don't know what it is, I've never felt it before, and without thinking, I just jump out of the way. Turns out this taxi almost hit me, and without thinking, I was able to do this backflip out of the way and save myself. I kind of like closed my eyes, I didn't know what was going on. When I open my eyes, I'm stuck to the wall. That's right, I'm stuck to the wall. I can climb this, 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 this bare structure. It was insane. I didn't know whether to be freaked out or excited. So I kind of did a little bit of both. I was, I was freaked out and really, really excited. So I'm climbing everything. I'm going through telephone poles and wires. And it turns out I'm super strong. I can jump really far. I can do so much cool stuff. And uh, it's, it's pretty exciting. And uh, so I, I go home and I don't really know what to do this with this. I, I decided I'm not gonna tell anyone just yet. And uh, I did come up with the name though, right? Spider. I thought that was pretty cool. And uh, so, you know, I keep going through my normal life and figure out like, what can I do with this? You know, I mean, I can still be a student. I can do this cool stuff, but like I've got these powers. So like, there should be something cool I could do with this. And I see this, this sign for a wrestling match. I say, you know what? That, that's something I can do. You know, I can make a little extra money, maybe get a little famous, something like that. And so I sign up for this, uh, for this wrestling match. And I, I make this, um, I make this and uh, it, it's actually, you know, I know this isn't the costume I'm wearing now. This, I actually went into my uncle and aunt's closets and I kind of, kind of tore some stuff apart and put it on. It's not my best work, but you know, it, it hit my identity, so it worked pretty well. And uh, I start doing these wrestling matches, and oh, guys, I start winning. Like, I am winning match after match after match. Look at this guy, all right? This guy, they, call, they called him, he, he tried to call himself the Incredible Hulk, which I think you guys know that's not the actual Hulk, but that's what, that's what he called himself. You know, he said he weighed 400 pounds. Look at that. That's an actual picture. I picked him up. I had no problem beating him. I'm beating everybody. And, uh, and so at this point, you know, I'm getting a little momentum. People are start starting to know who I am. And uh, so I go home, and then I, I, it took me about a week, and I made this costume that you see right here. Uh, <laughs> it's pretty cool, right? It was a lot of sewing. You know, luckily my Aunt May taught me how to sew, so I was able to do it by myself. And uh, I gotta say, I got a, lot, a little more respect in the ring once I started wearing something like this. And, uh, you know, at this time, it's, it's pretty cool. I, I feel like I'm getting a lot of attention. I'm making money. I think you know, maybe I'll be able to, there's this girl I like. Her name's MJ, Mary Jane. And I'm thinking maybe I can get some money doing these wrestling matches and uh, buy a cool car to impress her, you know? Like, my mind's going crazy. I'm just really excited about what I can do with these powers. Uh, in the meantime, at home, uh, my Aunt May and Uncle Ben, they get me a cool chemistry set. And, you know, the name Spider-Man, uh, it was really cool. I can stick to walls. I can jump really high. But there was this other thing that I was, you know, spiders that can they can they can spin webs. I was thinking, how can I do that? And so I take this chemistry set that they get me, and I actually figured out how to shoot webs. And so that now I've got these web slingers in my in my wrist that I'm able to, as you guys have probably seen me swinging from buildings and that kind of thing. Uh, I, I built that, and so now I feel like I'm fully operational. Like, I can, I can, you know, practically fly it like a spider can. It's, it's awesome. And so at this point, you know, things are good. Things are really good. Uh, I'm going to school. I'm winning these matches. It's great. And uh, so, you know, I win this match, and I gotta go pick up my my paycheck, right? Every time you win, you get it. You get a paycheck. And I go to the I go to the wrestling site, and when I get there, this uh, the guy stiffs me. This guy he says, you know what? I'm not gonna pay you today. And I'm like, come on, man, that's not fair. He says, you know what, tough luck, tough luck, you're out of luck today, what are you gonna do about it? So I start to leave and then he gets robbed. This guy gets robbed and he says, stop the guy, stop the guy. And you know what I do? I just cross my arms and I watch him run by. You know what, it's not my problem. Karma's gonna get you, right? And it just did. You're not gonna pay me? See what happens to you. So. That's what happens, I let him go, and I'm walking home, I'm feeling okay about it, and uh, I get home, turns out something bad, something really bad had happened to my Uncle Ben. And oh man, it turns out 
that it's the same guy who I let go. I, that was my fault. I, I feel so bad. And so I get on the police scanners and I follow this guy. I, they, they tell me that he, they're chasing him all over Brooklyn. And uh, I follow the police cars, I follow the sirens, and I follow him to this old abandoned warehouse. And he's in there. And the sirens are down below and they said he's in there. So I, I go up in there and I find him. And I get this guy and I, I, I hit him good. I knock him down on the ground. And I get his gun away from him. And you know, in this moment, I didn't know what to do. I had these urges, like I felt like I really wanted to hurt this guy. You know, I, and I was close, I tell you, I'll be honest with you guys, I felt like I wanted to do something bad. But I heard my Uncle Ben. You guys, I don't know if you, if you heard this, but my Uncle Ben, he said something to me one time that I really, I really remember. He said, with great power comes great responsibility. And in that moment, everything kind of came clear to me. I realized that these powers, they're not for getting famous, they're not for, for getting girls or buying fast cars. Like, I need to use this power for good. And if I hurt this guy now, that wouldn't be good. That'd be, that'd be me using this power for bad. And everything came together in that moment when I said, okay, I understand why I have these powers. And I'm going to use them for good. And so, instead of hurting the guy, I roped him up with my, uh, with my web, and I gave him over to, uh, over to the cops. And ever since then, I've been Spider-Man. And I've used these powers to do as good as I can in the city. So, that's my origin story, guys. That's how I became Spider-Man. Some of you might have heard the story before, but if you hadn't, I, I love telling it, you know? It's kind of how I became who I am. So, hero training, okay? That's right, we're gonna do superhero training. By the end of this, you guys are gonna be web warriors, and we're all gonna be able to fight kind of together. It's gonna be awesome. So, there's, there's some steps to go through here, okay? So, all you guys out there, there's a few things we gotta, we gotta learn. So the first one, the most, the, the number one, most important thing about being a superhero. Any you guys you have any ideas? Any ideas? Type in the comments if you know. Hmm? Yeah? Okay? I'll tell you. You ready? A good superhero pose. That's right. Superhero pose is absolutely essential to being a superhero. So, you guys probably know my pose, right? That's right. Shooting webs. Sometimes I get down low. Sometimes I get up here. It's, it's what I do. I shoot webs. You guys probably know that, but I got a bunch of Avenger buddies, and uh, they've all got a bunch of different poses too. You know, you might know uh, Iron Man shoots out his lasers like that, or as I call him, Tony, or lately as I like to call him, Teacher. Don't, even, don't get me started on all the homeschooling I've been doing with Tony, and I don't want to do it. You got, uh, you got Hulk, right? Hulk smash, right? He does that. You've, uh, you've got Wonder Woman, right? Got Wonder Woman, who, uh, she does this thing right here. Yep. Anybody else have any cool superhero poses? You think? If, you, if you're at home, do them right now. Yeah, if you're at home, do superhero poses right now. And at the end, we can all do them at the same time. Do them together. And it'll be kind of like an Avengers thing. It'll be really cool. Right? So, the number two thing for being a superhero is that you need to make sure that you're always doing your best to be nice, all right? You wanna be nice and not to bully. You guys know what you do if you see someone bullying? Yeah, you're at school, or you're outside, and you see somebody getting bullied, right? You wanna go tell an adult or a teacher. That's always the best thing to do. Make sure that that happens, because I know, I know I've been bullied a lot, especially before I got my powers. I, I was bullied a lot, and I got, I got helped out a few times when, you know, some kids had the responsibility and they went, you know, told someone else that, uh, that, that that was happening. So make sure that you're responsible and you, you know, you do good with these. And, um, you know, uh, otherwise, you also want to, you want to help everyone around you, right? So, let's say you see your mom coming in and she's got all these groceries. And she, she's holding like three or four bags. And, you know, you're sitting there on the couch. Maybe you're playing some video games. You mean to sit there and keep playing? Or maybe you're going to go out and help them. That's right. We need to help these people. Or, you know, so maybe you got some, some siblings. I know me, I've been, I've been trapped in Avengers Tower for what feels like forever now. And I, I just want to play pranks all the time. I want to play pranks on Hulk and, and Tony 
and all of them, but apparently that's not helping anything. So I know I don't know if some of you are feeling kind of stir crazy and feeling like you, you want to play pranks on your on your younger siblings, but you want to be nice to everyone and make it easier for our parents and everyone else in the world. Okay? So the next thing, the next thing you want to remember is to eat healthy and exercise. Now I don't know about you guys, but it was always hard for me to get green vegetables down. I know, I know. Aunt May, Uncle Ben always trying to get me to eat my broccoli, my green beans, my spinach. Never wanted to. But I tell you, as soon as I started eating them, I started feeling super strong. And, and I could jump higher, run faster, all that kind of thing. You combine that with exercise, you can do anything. Uh, you, guys, uh, you guys mind if maybe do a little exercise right now? I think maybe we could do uh, do some, some jumping jacks, right? Now, I want everyone to, to get up right here, and we're going to do 10 jumping jacks. Jump as high as you can. Touch your hands over your head. You ready? All right, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo! Wow. I... I think this quarantine is getting me out of shape. I used to be able to do 10 jumping jacks, no problem, but now I'm, uh, I'm feeling a little flat out of breath here. Whew. All right, now I want you guys to give me, if you do jumping jacks, you're gonna look strong. So give me your best, your best flex. Come on, hard as you can. Whoa. Oh wow, cool. I, I can feel the energy on this other side of the camera. Oh, that's great guys. Oh, you guys ever done any push-ups? I want to I want to have you do a few push-ups here, okay? Now, me, I might have to go on my knees, but if you don't need to go on your knees, that's cool too. So here we go. We're gonna get down. Let's do uh, let's do five push-ups, okay? Here we go. Oh. One, two, three, four, five. Oh man! All right, I think I'm getting back into shape thanks to you guys. I, I do, do not tell Tony how out of shape I am. He told me, he said, look, with this quarantine, it's going to be easy to, to, lose your, to lose your strength. Make sure you don't do it. This is the secret between us, okay? Do not tell Tony that I only did five push-ups and that I got tied up to 10 jumping jacks, okay? Between me and you. Thank you. All right, so the next thing as a superhero that you need to know, good manners. I know it seems simple, but it's very important. Please, thank you. When someone's coming to the door, you open it for them and you let them go before you go. Simple things like this seriously make such a big difference. Next thing, superhero training, always be honest. No lie. You gotta, it can be hard, especially, sometimes you get tempted to tell a little white lie here and there. But as a superhero, there's a responsibility that we all have to always tell the truth. Now, the final thing, and the most one of the most important things about being a superhero is you always have to have a clean bedroom. Now, let me, let me see, any of you guys, you can write in the comments, any of you guys uh, not have a clean bedroom right now? Remember, no lying either. You have to be honest. Now, you know, it's it's okay if you don't have a clean bedroom. Right after this, it's okay. You can go you can go clean it right after this, and then and then we're all good, right? Then we're all good. <laughs> all right, guys. So you basically completed superhero training now. So let's go through. Let's think about what what we went over, right? We got our best superhero pose, right? Everyone do their best. I want to see everyone's best superhero pose right now, okay? All right, here. One, two, three. There we go. Cool. All right. Next thing, do good. Be nice to people. All right. Don't bully. And if you see someone getting bullied, you're gonna report it. Talk to talk to a grown up or a teacher. Let them know what's going on. Next, you want to make sure that you always help people, especially in these times. It's it's a weird time we're living in, and our parents are the most stressed of all. And so we really wanna make sure that we're helping them out, helping them out around the house, doing chores when we can, taking out the garbage, helping with our, with our younger siblings, making sure that we're not making anything harder or making things easier. And that, that can be so helpful to everyone right now. 
Now, the next thing, you remember this? Greens, eat your greens. I'm talking broccoli, I'm talking spin, I'm talking not grass, do not eat grass. That's for the cows. Not everything that's green, okay? Green human food. And it goes on along with that, you wanna exercise. Today we did some push-ups, we did some jumping jacks. There's so many great things you can do. To, I mean, especially now when we're trapped inside, we can, you know, with so many cool things we can do inside. And again, even if we're away from other people outside, you can go running outside, you can do all kinds of things. And that is very, very important. Now, the next thing, you guys remember this? You gotta have good manners. That's right. Good manners are essential to superheroes, right? Please, thank you. You see, you see an old lady coming to the door and she has to open it herself? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? You're gonna open it, that's right. And you're gonna hold it for her, you're gonna let her go first. Good manners, essential. Next thing you guys remember, honesty. A superhero is always honest and he always tells the truth, he never lies. And of course the final, the final part of being a superhero, always have a clean room. If someone asks you to clean a room and you don't, you have to tell the truth. Say it's not clean. Then, run back to your room, clean it. Next time someone asks you, get to tell them that your room is clean. Easy as that. Well, you guys are now officially web warriors. So, I'm just wondering if any of you guys have any questions for me. Anything you can ask me that, uh, that you want to you wanna know about what it's like to be Spider-Man. Um, things are, uh, things are pretty crazy right now, as you know, I'm, I'm trapped in Avengers Tower, I'm so sick of Tony Stark, and, and this, and this whole, and this, I mean, he's, the first week was cool, but now it's just the, so strict. Learn, 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 Peter. Yeah, oh, whoa, did I, okay, I accidentally just said my real name, uh, that's, uh, I know, I know we talked about that earlier, but I just, I'm in this, Tony's getting really mad at me every time that I talk about who I really am. And so I guess what I didn't say earlier about the about my uh, about my real identity is I need you guys to keep it a secret. So please don't tell anyone outside of here who I really am, okay? Peter Parker, with you guys, that's it. Cool? Alright. Well, I'm wondering, do we have any uh, we have any questions? What do we got? Yeah, actually it's funny we have a question, Tucker wants to know if we have, or if you have to be nice to bad guys too, because you said be nice, so do we have to be nice to bad guys too? Tucker, that's actually a really good question, and that might be confusing, right? You gotta be nice, but like, what about to the bad guys? And so the answer is, yeah, we, we gotta be nice to the bad guys too. It's easy, you know, kind of in my story, I met, uh, when that guy hurt Uncle Ben, I, I wanted to hurt him, but I knew that that wasn't the right thing to do. I knew that that wasn't gonna get me what I wanted, it wasn't gonna make me feel better. We have a responsibility to be better than those that are not, that are not good. So if some, you know, it's easy if, if someone's a bully or something, we wanna, we wanna be mean to them. But how are we gonna show them to be better unless we are better than them? That's the best way, we gotta set the best example and know that it's gonna be followed. So that's a really good, really good question, Tucker. And then just our, we just had a comment that just Maddox wants you to know that they love you. Maddox? Yeah. Maddox, thanks. I, I love you guys too. Seriously, you guys are so awesome. And without you, like, none of this would be worth it. I wouldn't, why would I fight crime if I didn't have you guys to talk to about it? And who would I save the world from if it wasn't you guys, you know? Yeah. Man, I, uh, I don't know about you guys, but like, I'm just feeling... I'm feeling a little crazy this time, and I don't, I don't know what you guys are doing to uh, to kind of get your energy off. Like I know we talked about working out. Uh, it's it's hard now because you know our friends. We're not really allowed to see them up close. Uh, I know what we've been doing at at uh, at the Avengers Tower. Tony's he's making us stand ten feet apart from each other. So like you know I really like Bruce Banner. I don't know if you know Bruce. He he's also the Hulk, and um, me and him we like to we like to talk about video games. But when we do that now, we have to stand 10 feet apart, and it's just kind of weird. We'll play basketball with each other, but, you know, we have to wipe the basketball down every time we throw it to each other. It's, it's weird times, man. It's, it's weird times. But I, I'm sure you guys are, are doing what you can to, to figure this out. And it's, uh, it's a difficult time for all of us, but 
As they say, with great power comes great responsibility. People like you, your friends are going to be looking up to you. They're going to be looking up to you to tell them, you know, how, how to operate in this time. And so what do you got to do? You got to be strong. You got to have hope. Because we know that this is going to pass, like everything. You got to keep our heads up and know that soon everything's going to be back to normal. Until then, we got, what, a lot of really cool time with our family. Time to maybe, I don't know, watch some Spider-Man movies. <laughs> or, or any other adventure you want to, but like... If you want to throw a Spider-Man movie on, that's that's totally cool. That's totally cool. I uh, I've been in the Avengers Tower. I unfortunately, you know, I don't know if you guys are missing your grandparents because of this this whole this whole virus thing. I know the elderly are a little more susceptible, so I haven't been able to go see Aunt May, and I really miss her. I haven't been able to see her, and I you know I've been calling her and texting her and stuff, but I've had to stay away from her, and that's that's been really hard. And I mean, really, Tony Stark. Uh, I used to look up to him so much. I mean, I still look up to him, but I just, I'm getting so tired of this, of this, of this quarantine. And, uh, I want to, let's see, wait a minute. Did, is, is Maya and Logan? I, I just got, I just got a little, uh, little message that Maya and Logan are on the other side of this. And I just want to, I want to say, hey, what's up, Maya and Logan? I'm so glad you guys were able to tune in. And I hope you guys learned something from the superhero training today and you can, Take that, incorporate it into your own lives, and do good with the powers that you've got. I, uh, I can, I can only imagine the cool, the cool superhero poses that you're doing at home right now, and I imagine they're pretty cool. Hopefully, hopefully, I can come meet you guys in real life soon. Once all this is done, you can show me in real life, and we can, we can see what you got there. So, again, as I was saying, at the Avengers Tower now, things are very weird. Things are very weird, but. You know, I'm looking forward to all this being done, and I know it's going to be done before long, and I'm going to be flying through the, the skyscrapers in New York and fighting crime again. But until then, you know, we just got to hunker down. It's a good time to learn. It's a good time to take advantage of this time that we've got. And again, if you guys are with your family, appreciate that. My Aunt May, is, she, she's somewhere I can't see her right now, and if you guys get to see your mom and dad, think about that and how lucky you guys are to be with your families right now. Because... You know, sometimes some of us are alone in this, and that's not fun at all. So, guys, I can't thank you enough. It's, I, I felt alone during all this, and I feel so much better having got to tell you guys about my story, getting to do a new superhero training with some new web warriors. It's been so much fun today. And I just, I can't wait till this is over, and I'll get to come see you guys in real life. Again, if you guys have birthday parties or anything, I love that stuff. I'm always there for that stuff. So, thank you so much, guys. You've been awesome. I can't wait to see your superhero poses in real life. I gotta go. Again, Tony Stark says I gotta get back to school. We got chemistry class, and I gotta take this suit off and actually study. So, believe me, I'd rather spend more time here with you guys, but he is gonna be on my back if I don't get out of here. So, thank you again so much, you guys. Remember, with great power comes great responsibility. Spider-Man out! <laughs>